weather is your Hurricane HQ. Brian Norcross is our hurricane specialist. And Brian, we want to bring you back in as we just got this new update in from the National Hurricane Center. The storm about 345 miles off to the southeast of Charleston and is still intensifying. It, it, in fact, hasn't really even formed yet, but it's got this designation because the NHC thinks that could happen at any point. Yeah, that could happen, but the key point of this is, and why the communications is so difficult with this uh, system, is people are going to get tropical storm conditions even though it may not end up being a tropical storm, it may not get a name. It may technically develop enough that they can go ahead and give it a name. But the thing is, the conditions aren't going to be any different. Uh, in the mid-Atlantic, in the, the Carolinas, up into Virginia and Maryland, tropical storm conditions are very, very likely. And that includes storm surge, that includes wind, that includes very heavy rain right in the coastal sections. And some of this storm surge could be significant all the way up into the Potomac, into the lower levels of the Potomac River that goes into Chesapeake Bay, which is very, very storm surge prone if the wind blows off the Atlantic and pushes water up into the Chesapeake Bay. So significant flooding is possible in a number of areas on the coast but it may not get a name, you know? So the, this is a, a challenge that we have in communications. We're so used to name storms being worse where the name is almost incidental in this case. So this temporary designation, we'll call it, is potential tropical cyclone 16, change the word cyclone to threat. Potential tropical threat is what it is, but it's just, it's a storm threat is really what it ought to be called, storm threat 16. Uh, estimated winds now, so 35 miles an hour moving to the north at eight miles an hour, in other words, moving toward the North Carolina coast, but when we look close up here, we see there really is no center to follow. The National Hurricane Center just nominally puts it there, but it's this big comma-shaped thing and just this broad center. So the question is, is it going to form a center or is it going to continue to be this big comma? There you see when we look at the moisture, there's the way it looks. And it's that kind of a comma-shaped nor'easter kind of look. And the question is whether we'll actually get something developing here where storms kind of wrap around the center and that actual center of circulation is indeed defined. It's not clear that's going to happen. That's why they call it potential. They're given a 60% chance of happening, by the way. But that's really, once again, I want to emphasize more technical than about what happens with the weather. This is going to be a strengthening nor'easter-ish sort of system no matter what. Okay. Now, let's put it into motion. So here we are uh, nominally right now and an hour from now, obviously. Now, watch as we go. So here we are now uh, uh, tomorrow afternoon. And the idea is we have a 50 mile an hour storm in this vicinity. You see, we're using the European model here, which is a little bit slower, but it's not relevant. The main point to take out of this is look where the dark greens are. The dark greens are where the heaviest rain is. Also, look where the strong winds are on shore. They're all well to the north of the, the center, which in this case is up in here, right? They're just well to the north. So it's the top end of that comma that is going to be where the worst effects of this storm are almost no matter what happens, unless something really surprising happens and it super spins up near the center. Not 100% out of the question, but uh, odds are the worst of it is going to be well displaced to the north. So this is going to be a situation where you don't track the center, you track where the worst weather is. And now we go to Saturday afternoon, and look at this, this band, a strong band across New England and on down um, across Pennsylvania, and really ugly in the northeast with winds coming off the ocean. Now, the winds will be less strong there. The strongest winds will be down here in in the mid-Atlantic, uh, although this is technically the mid-Atlantic up here, but let's separate New Jersey and New York from down in uh, south of Maryland in Virginia and northern North Carolina. So on Saturday, this is when the strongest winds will be there. So this is when the biggest concern for the push of water is into the Chesapeake will come on Saturday as the, that peak of wind goes by. And then we get to Sunday afternoon, and you see we continue with this band of rain to the north. The system just weakens and kind of dies out 
over land at that time. So we, we, then it's just kind of ugly weather to the north of the system. The dangerous weather looks like starting tomorrow into Saturday from the Carolinas up into Virginia and uh, Maryland looks like the focus of this right now. Now, in terms of this, could it be Ophelia? This is going to be the opportunity for it to happen. About 10 p.m. tonight or so, it should be over the Gulf Stream. And look, you can clearly see the warm uh, channel of water there that could fuel it. So that's about the time frame for it to be over the Gulf Stream. So if it's going to get that surge and a center is going to form, it's going to be tonight, and that's pretty much technical. The other thing I want you to see here is the reds and oranges, that's strong wind, and the blues and greens, that's lighter wind. So over the land, this isn't a big wind deal. This is really a coastal storm as we see it right now. So tropical storm warnings all along the coast there from the Carolinas on up to Maryland, and now it's a storm surge warning now. So that just means over three feet above normal high tide is uh, indeed expected. So the forecast there, uh, up to three feet in northern South Carolina, up into North Carolina. Then, then we get to where the biggest threat is. It's on Cape Hatteras and on points north, also in the sounds there uh, around the Cape. And then uh, especially, I think, especially threatening in the Chesapeake Bay on up into the Potomac, halfway up the Bay to Baltimore. And some storm surge and water rise in Baltimore, all this mostly at high tide. And then add on top of all that, the heavy rain, that's going to drain down the river, which will aggravate the storm surge issues. So it's all the, the tropical storm threat stuff, Ian. Whether it ends up being Ophelia or not is really uh, not an issue, but it does complicate the communications, I think. Yeah, no question. The, the shape of this, the overall look that it's developing into will, will look a lot like what Lee did when it made that landfall up in Nova right. Scotia. But because of where this is, it's going to impact a lot more people. We'll be tracking it. We know you will. We'll be checking back in with you. A Fox Weather Hurricane Specialist Brian Norcross. Thank you. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.